It's Tuesday, September 9th, 2014. We're at the Bora Peak sign, and Bora Peak is the sixth most challenging state high point. And there's Bora Peak. And the next day, the 10th of September, is the day we climbed. But it was nice to see that the snow bridge appeared to be melted. So we started off at about 3.45 in the morning on the 10th. And here we are going through the gate down at the Bora Peak Trailhead. And Lance is ahead of me, of course, and hes it's a little bit chilly, so we started off with a little bit of extra clothes. And I'm using my hiking pole so they make a little bit of noise. Anyway, the uh, time difference between these that shot and this shot is about four hours, so it's starting to get daylight here. And we're continuing up this very steep mountain. And that's part of the challenge is that it goes up 3.4 miles, but one vertical mile in that distance. So it's an incredibly steep mountain. <clears throat> I'm using a GoPro camera that I just got and I haven't had a lot of experience with it and I'm putting it on my chest figuring that my chest will be upright more than my head which would be looking down. The challenge is that I'm breathing hard at this point we're at over 10,000 feet. We started at about 7,200 feet and I'm breathing hard so the camera tends to go up and down. I had a hard time using the GoPro software so I'm using iMovie and I'm doing some fairly short four second clips. So it's going to be a little choppy but I wanted to put something together that I could put up on YouTube. We're now on Chicken Out Ridge, <coughs> and uh, this is really a very challenging part of the climb, as you can see. And it's uncertain as to whether you should go straight across the top, down the left side, which is the steeper side, or down the right side, uh, a little bit down from the uh, true ridge and it seemed like this was the best way to go and there was a slight path along the way. And we got up here and a couple guys passed us right there and they stopped and had something to eat and we continued on ahead. So this is quite a bit of video compressed down to just a few minutes. It took a total of three hours of video. Those red gloves you just saw, I actually took them off on the way down and I was pretty tired and I forgot to put them back on so there's a pair of red gloves on the mountain. This is the down climb just before the snow bridge. And Lance had no problem getting down it. Here I am climbing down it. And I've compressed a couple minutes down to a few seconds there. I'm now down off the down climb, which is about 15 feet. The snow bridge is pretty much melted. And then I am looking back at what we just climbed down. We still have probably a mile to go to the summit. And again, I've got a bunch of short clips here. I hope it doesn't drive people crazy seeing all this movement. He's talking to some of the people trying to get down that down climb. 
And we're just continuing on up. It, it seems like uh, it's a pretty decent trail here, and it is. But if you're 71 years old, you've just come from sea level, and you've got a drop foot that goes back 30-some years from a nerve entrapment from playing beach volleyball um, that finally got operated on so that the leg isn't getting any worse, but it isn't getting any better. Yeah. And I can't really raise my right toe, so I have to be very careful. And on this climb, honestly, uh, I think we set a record. Uh -huh. It took us about seven and a half hours to go up. Most people can do it in about half that time. And it took ten and a half hours to get me down. So we did about 18 hours, and we averaged about a half a mile an hour going up, and a third of a mile an hour coming down. So it's kind of a, a record only if you look at how long it took us to get up and down. It was pretty uh, loose rock. And I especially had to be careful coming down, and I should have brought my poles with me all the way to the summit. So here we are, uh, getting closer to the summit. I think this is the summit. Yep. And uh, Lance is signing into the summit register. And I'm not boring anybody with the down climb. And at the end of this, uh, I was, we ended up getting up there at about 11.30. And when we got down, I was pleasantly surprised to see this note from somebody that Lance had talked with on the way up. And they stuck it under our windshield. And that's kind of my blue ribbon or my gold medal. So thanks for watching, and uh, go to apexchallenge.com, and you can find out more about a big adventure that I'm planning in 2019 to put a team of people on all 50 state high points.